My Bo and Jimmy, my Bo is so happy. Cuteness is just as that's why he's loved by Jimmy. My Bo and Jimmy, Jimmy's so silly. Cuteness is just as that's why my Bo loves Jimmy. So an onsen, as you know, is a public bath where you get naked. And today, we're going to one, and apparently, I'll be having to get naked in front of Baba's dad, his brother-in-law, and his nephew. It is called Haraka no Tsukiyai. It's very really important for, for you know, Japanese people to hang out with naked body and that, that deepens the, the relationship, like a friendship as well and, and we of course family members too. So this is very important. We need it to be that deep though. <laughs> So Mabo and I leave the hotel and we're going to go to the seaside onsen, which is a public bath um, that he has, we've been talking about going to. And literally as we're going, uh, he lets me know that his mother and dad and entire family are joining us. Okay. I go into panic mode, my overthinking overthinker mind has just like leaped off the bridge. Um, it's in free fall. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's like thinking of everything that I, I'm not sure that I want to see or other people to see, or, you know, like you can't unsee things. And uh, this is the second time I'm going to be meeting his dad, and uh, which was just a day or two before. And that last time, we were fully clothed and it was still kind of tense for me and and this time it's gonna be naked <laughs> totally and entirely naked like mabo i would have shaved my back if you would have told me i would have <laughs> they're gonna think you like married a yeti <laughs> Did you see what's behind me? <laughs> so I'm, uh, so, it, you know, so like I, I you know, I pop another Xanax because I've already popped one. Uh, just the idea of being nude anyway, you know, just you know, let alone parents being involved and family involved. So we, we pull up, the family's meeting us there and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's right by the sea. It's on this little hill. Uh, you can see some of the pictures. And uh, luckily for me, there's a sign on the door that says, Close for cleaning. And it was going to be for like the next few hours. It's like in the middle of the day, every day they clean the spa. <laughs> I, was, I was like overjoyed. I was like, yes, yes. There is a cover. And so we, the family goes in because they had apparently rented a special room for um, his mom uh, and the sisters and the niece. Uh, so uh, like a private room and the, the, the spa was offering us to use it as a family room, which would mean the entire entire family would be me included together naked no no there's not enough Xanax in Japan for this scenario it's, there's no way possible there's like 
I will go sit in the lobby fully clothed and I will be eating ice cream until y'all get out. And Mabo knew that that was obviously not going to work option for me. So they cancel that room and I'm all excited until I realize that they're like going to take us to another one that is nearby. And I was like, so, it, you know, at least I didn't have to be fully naked with his entire family. This would just be half of them that will have this image of me burned in their retinas for the rest of their lives. <laughs> so we pull up to what looks like a rundown uh, strip mall. And I was like, this, this, the spa, I mean, compared to what we just left, this was like definitely a, a downgrade version. And he was like, yeah, this is like a multiplex spa. And I was like, what does that mean? He says, well, you'll kind of understand when you get inside. So we go inside and it's nothing fancy. It's like this little window as you go through the door, you pay and they give you what is apparently some towels, one per each. And there's an escalator. It's an escalator in the mall or the spa. <laughs> the mall. Uh, and uh, when we get to the top of the, f the floor where our spa is, there's a bowling alley in this complex and an arcade in this complex. It was definitely, let's just say, a step down version um, from option number one. So before I can even get inside, okay, so luckily there's a men's only area and there's a women's only. The women go that way. Before I can even get myself to go through the door, I had to pop another Xanax. So I did. And we go in and we've got uh, the towel. He's like, here's your towel. I'm naked now. His parent, his dad had already gone in and he, Mabo hands me the towel. When you open this towel, it's the size of a washcloth. Half of a washcloth. <laughs> it's maybe this big. So like, I'm thinking, what do I do with this? Do I like cover myself so they don't have to see me or do I cover my eyes so I don't have to see them? I was like, I, tr I was like, what do I do with this thing? And so, <laughs> so we <laughs> go in and you have to wash down first. They've got little separate little washing areas, which is a cool thing. You know, you clean off and soap and all that stuff in a hose. You each got your own little cleaner stuff. And so we go in and his dad's already in the spa or the pool area, let's call it that. It's outdoors. And, you know, I'm just trying to get into the water as quickly as I can so his dad doesn't need to see my chicken McNuggets and have that burned into his retina for the rest of eternity. And so I step in and the pool is, it basically came just below my knee. So like I instantaneously just drop into the water uh, to cover as much of me as I possibly could. And and um, it, he's on the other side and Ma was just walking across, you know, to his dad. And I'm having to awkwardly like crawl on my behind like a like one of those weird crabs, you know, just <laughs> across this uh, to get over to him. And, and Ma has reserved, you know, the seat of honor. Just like to here, sit to my dad, sit to my dad's right hand side. And I was like, I don't know if he did that as a joke just to have me sit next to his dad or not. But so I, I sit next to his dad and the water's like crystal clear. It's not like there's no bubbles. There's nothing. It's like you can see everything below the surface. So my overthinking mind apparently kicked in. And before I know it, my hands are doing this with the water. <laughs> I'm not even doing it on purpose. And so I'm doing this with the water so that I don't accidentally see them and they don't accidentally see me, you know, and... So I'm doing all this, his brother-in-law and his nephew come in and I'm looking at the sky and, you know, trying to let them get in and under the water. Uh, and so while they're talking and stuff, cause I obviously don't speak the language, you know, I'm over here like doing some form of lamas, you know, <laughs> breathing exercises. 
outside, <laughs> splashing the water around. And uh, this goes on <laughs> for, you know. <laughs> and Mom was like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm just fine. Uh, I'm just fine. And so we, <laughs> this probably goes on, I'm guessing 10 minutes or so. And either the Lamaze is working or my Xana kicks in. But I'm all of a sudden, I'm like calming down and I'm able to kind of become present. Uh, and I'm sitting there and kind of a little more chill and and I realized like with them this is like a complete nothing burger it's like um, almost like they've been doing it for centuries and I, I realized you know the only one having these conversations in his head is me It ended up being a pretty cool experience. Awkward-ish, but cool because it meant nothing to them in the sense that I was thinking. And it was just a, a way for a family to, I don't know, get to know each other, you know, or whatever. The only one who had a story going on was me. So I let go. I actually enjoyed the last 10 minutes of it. And it was definitely a waste of three or four Xanax.